The graduation haircut starts off with four sections. The same as we did for the blunt haircuts. We should have, you should have completed three blunt haircuts by now. One with a straight line, one with a concave line, shorter in the back, longer in the front, and one, one with a convex line, which is longer in the back and shorter in the front. And now we're going to use the same cutting line, the convex, longer in the back, shorter in the front, but we're, also, we're not going to be holding the hair at zero degrees, we're going to be elevating the hair at 45 degrees. The traditional graduation haircut has always been convex, shorter in the front, longer in the back. All graduation haircuts are held at 45 degrees, but there are some different versions of them. But to start learning the basics, the four basic haircuts are blunt graduation, 90 degree layer and over directed layer. And that's gonna be your foundation for building every other haircut you do in the salon for clients. Just before we get started, I just want to remind you to ensure that you are holding the hair out at 45. Take your comb and hold it 90 degrees from this section straight out and then you can easily lower that comb to 45 and that will tell you where your hair strand should be combed before cutting. Our hair cutting game plan is C5. It's available on the Hairstyling Educational Buzz website for teachers to use with their students. We start off with four sections, as I said, down the six point from the apex down to behind the ear. The partings we're going to use are just a slight diagonal down. You can also use horizontal partings here. Um, you can use diagonal up. Again, it depends on your preference and the stylist um, that you're watching, that you're apprenticing with. They may do things a little different and that's okay. Your guideline is going to be 45 degrees and we're going to always be moving a bit of that guideline up and maintaining that 45 and once we hit, hit the occipital bone, we're going to bring that hair down to that point because we don't want to keep graduating past the occipital bone. We want to maintain um, our graduation below the occipital bone and some smoothness on top. That's what graduation is. There's always a slight low elevation of layering, but it's still um, a smooth look on top. So we want to maintain that. Her head position is going to be upright. If you remember with the blunt haircuts, her head position always started down and that was so we got a nice bevel um, on our blunt haircuts. And this we want to make sure that we are at 45, so we're just going to keep her head upright so you can see that 45 degrees easily. Your stylist body position is going to be right out from the three point, and the reason we're standing out from the three point is because we are doing a convex perimeter. We're going to shift our fingers just a little bit to decrease length in the front, and we're going to remember about the protrusion of the ear again and make sure that we're releasing some tension there especially with the first section that we cut after that when we're elevating away from the head at 45 we may not find we need to release tension but you you will have to we'll have to look at that when we get to that area so to start with remember add a little moisture if you need and combing is an important part of cutting. Your sectioning, your combing is part of the key elements of cutting. We're going to remove, we want to leave this hair approximately four and a half inches because this mannequin we can use for roller sets, for blow dries, and four and a half to five inches is a good length to continue to have a use for the mannequin. So we're just going to measure, remember use your comb, you have the inches marked on your comb. We're going to bring that hair forward slightly, check where 90 is, 
find out where our 45 is and we're just going to elevate that hair and do our cut. So remember, just like before, now we're elevating. We're going to talk to ourselves. We're going to ask, is my client's head position straight? Because if your client shifts her head, that could throw your haircut, your cutting line off. We're gonna ask, is my body position out from the three point? Do I have this hair elevated at 45? Do I have good scissor control? Is my parting clean? You have a lot of things you have to think of when you cut hair. And that's why it's good to have your game plan on hand with you when you're cutting. Shift slightly forward so that we get that convex line and then we're ready to cut. Then you can do the same on the other side. Just do your parting. Comb that hair up and away, just like we did with all the other haircuts. Use a little bit of your guide from the previous haircut, your previous cut, the first cut you did. Remember to check where your 90 is and where your 45 is. And shift forward, and then we're going to cut. Make sure your body position is correct and then we check check on the outside and check at the three point and then also do a visual check to see the line that you're creating so now when we go to do our next section and again remember the size of your subsections determines is determined by the density of your client's hair so now we're going to pick up a little bit of the hair that we already cut so we need to have a small amount of that hair picked up and elevated and you need to make sure you can see your guide under there if you can't see your guide take some of this hair up put it back because we want to make sure that you clearly can see where your guide is. So that's perfectly fine if you have to put that hair up. And you can see the guide underneath there. You can divide this into half at the three point. Use the reference points of the head. Make sure you have some of the hair from underneath. Check where 90 is, check where 45 is, there's our guide, and we're just going to shift forward so we get the convex perimeter and we're going to cut. Make sure you can see your guide under there, check your elevation, and shift forward to cut. So what graduation does is it gives you a little bit of feathering is a term that used to be used and still is sometimes. A little bit of layering around the perimeter. It's a low elevation, not high, and that allows, that low elevation allows just a little bit of feathering of layering to show but only in the perimeter the rest of the hair will be smooth and just the perimeter will have that layering so we're just going to keep going and remember with each cut 90 degrees find your 45 make sure you can see your guideline and cut <laughs> 